Hello everyone, in this video, I will let you know how to make your own zone off in just 3 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now for those who don't know what is this zone off, then watch out this video to know all about this product. It can be regarded as a device which can make any appliance to be controlled wirelessly from anywhere in the world. For making your own zone off, you will require one ESP8266-01 Wi-Fi module. And I programmed this module with ESP8266 MQTT example code provided by Adafruit Industries. If you want to know what is MQTT protocol and how does it works, watch out my previous video in which I have gone into very much detail about this code and this topic. In this code, you just need to change your router's name, password, and also you need to provide your Adafruit account name and its AIO key. And in case you use other feed name as I have used, you also need to change the feed name. In my case, I have used the feed name called sonoff underscore one. After that, let's move on to the hardware. Let's see the hardware connection step by step. So first of all, we need a AC power source, of course. Then we need to step down this and convert it into a 3.3 volt DC source. And for that, I have used a 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC power supply and a 3.3 volt regulator IC further. After that, I give power to ESP8266 by this connections. As I program ESP to toggle its pin 2, so I attached a MCT2E optocoupler IC with pin 2 of ESP8266. I use this optocoupler IC as to drive the relay using ESP. To know what problem you will face if you don't use this IC, watch out my previous video on this same topic. After that, a transistor to increase the current and a relay in the end. As we need to provide both live and neutral connections of our AC source on the output side, the connections of the relay will be something like this. So this is the circuit of our own made Sonoff. Now for controlling this plug globally, I have used the smartphone app called MQTT dashboard. Or you can directly use your Adafruit IO dashboard from your web browser. Now let's see how to configure the app. So first of all, open that app called MQTT dashboard and click on the plus sign and fill up this detailed like this. So you need to give the server name which is say, which will be remain same and the port number will also remain same. Just you need to change your username here and a password here. The username will be your Adafruit account's name and password is nothing but the AIO key. Then click on the save or create button then go inside this menu. Then slide over to the publish section and create or click on this plus sign. Now we need to create a switch. So we'll click on the switch and fill up this details something like this. So here you need to attach your particular feed name, which goes like account username uh, slash feeds slash your feed name, which is son of underscore one here. So and uh, the text and the data to be published Then click on the save button. So yeah, this is how you need to configure your app. Now let's see this in action. So yeah, we successfully made our own zone off. Now we can turn any appliance into a smart appliance which can be controlled from anywhere in the world with our smartphone. So this is it about this video. Give a big thumbs up if you like this project or this project idea. And subscribe my channel if you haven't for such upcoming project tutorials coming up on my channel. Now till then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.